So, Andrew Tate is back on a new website. He's on YouTube with an interview from uh, somebody else. And he's calling out Logan Paul and YouTube. I have my thoughts. Cue the intro. like that jake paul said i don't roll with tate i don't yeah. i'd love to knock his ass out he said something like that yeah. but then he said but what i do support is free speech. you know free, free speech, speech. but yeah. then his brother said something else his brother said you know the shit that andrew tate says will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine because his narrative is truly hateful his rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it and it will affect impressionable young people that won't show for years from now and it's dangerous. Now, this is what he says. Is this right? Logan Paul you're but, saying? But, but I want to yeah. say this before you comment on it. And then Junior supported you. Tucker supported you. I think the guys that like debate and comedians, people who appreciate humor, yeah. can understand that some of the stuff you're saying is funny as hell. You yeah. could be a comedian if you wanted to, but yeah. a person has to really pay attention yeah. to the comedy. But, you know, some some can run with it. Some cannot run with it. Yeah. When you hear the people that support and don't support you, how do you process that? So first things first, I want to make it very, very clear that Logan Paul is absolutely not really a tool of the matrix. He's a bought and sold individual with no soul. He doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain. You it. believe that? A hundred percent. Not only do I believe it, he's proved it himself. He will flip flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch, and I will say that here publicly. If anyone wants, I'll fight him for free. The guy's an idiot. No money needed to no fight Logan needed. Paul. Logan Paul doesn't believe in any of the things he says. Logan Paul is a man. If you ever were unfortunate enough to consume his content, I get sent clips of it all the time by people mocking him. As soon as something comes out, whether it's Harry Styles wearing a dress, whether it's uh, little Naz twerking on the devil, whether it's this, he just sits there and goes, yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is great. He is a talking piece. He is the mouthpiece for the agenda. The people have come along, people who are trying to force a narrative, and they said, look, we need to have some degree of control over the exact demographic that Tate has control over. We're going to use Logan Paul and attempt to use him. And he sits there and just purports the bullshit points of view that the whole Hollywood establishment want him to purport. He doesn't believe in the things he said. Mm. He's told what to say. And because he was canceled before and it emotionally destroyed him, he yeah. sat on camera crying his eyes out like a little girl instead of being a man about it. He is so fearful of the mob and so scared of being canceled again that he's going to sit there and say anything he's told. He doesn't believe that shit. Before I was canceled, him and his boyfriend, Mike, did endless videos supporting me, laughing about me, saying how funny I was, tagging me on Instagram, inviting me places, etc. The second I'm canceled, they flip reverse it and shit themselves because they don't want to get canceled too. They are children. That's all they are. So Logan Paul's a bitch. That's the first thing about Logan Paul. And what's actually been interesting about this whole cancellation thing is it hasn't negatively affected me in any serious way because I've been saying on podcasts for years, I know a cancellation is coming. I knew it was coming. I knew that as I got more popular and more mm. powerful to a degree that it was going to come. But what it has done is it has awoken the world to anyone who's perspicacious enough to pay attention to learn which individuals out here in the social media space actually have character and believe what they say and which are completely bought and sold and are tools to the matrix. The people who have decided to stand up for me and say, no, this is bullshit are people who have to some degree, credibility. You know, this is this is people who say what they truly believe. But the people who were totally a fan and then post cancellation shit themselves in 180 and to get a new piece of paper to talk from, that should tell out the public out there exactly who is controlled and whether these people have a, a genuine narrative that they're trying to report on the world. And it's interesting. Logan's one of them and there's a few others. But I'm glad it happened just for that alone because it's actually very clear. If you go to Logan Paul's last podcast where he's discussing me, all of his fans, and I will we'll talk about fans and viewers in a minute because I think they're very different things. All of his fans, which he has none of, all of his viewers are sitting there insulting him, saying, bro, 
they're your fucking bitch. Like everyone, all of his own watchers are calling him names because it's so transparent and so obvious what he's doing. Fans versus viewers. Fans versus viewers, very different things. So he, he doesn't have any fans, he has viewers. And Susan and the Matrix and the people in charge of social media companies are like, okay, we've set our media machine. Let me ask you guys questions as professionals. Let's assume, as professionals, let's assume what I'm saying is correct. Let's assume that the social media companies, when they banned me, set their media machine to all release thousands of news articles at the same time, trying right. to convince the world I'm an evil man. If they had that degree of power and influence, which I think we can all probably agree they do, don't you think they'd take their number one talking piece to the demographic, which is my fan, and give him a piece of paper and tell him what to say? Does that not make sense? Does that make sense to say, well, we told all the news to say takes bad, and all of his fans are 18 to 25-year-old men. Who do we have on YouTube who obeys us like a little cock who, who speaks to 18 to 25-year-old men? Logan Paul. Okay, Logan, here's your piece of paper. Do you want to get canceled again, Logan? No, you don't want to get canceled, do you? No, no, Mom. You're saying a call no. like that was made? 100%. The dude's a bitch. He, he 180 from a super fan to just talking about my rhetoric being dangerous but there's in, a in 24 hours. There's a difference between you saying who you think he is versus you making the speculation that he got called by somebody to say, here's a narrative we want you to take or else we'll silence you. Well, Logan is not capable of independent thought. So if someone didn't give him the narrative, he didn't think it up himself. The dude's an empty vessel. He says what he is told to say. Somebody somewhere told Logan what to say and what stance to take. We can argue whether it was a social media company, whether it was his manager who was fearful, right. whether whatever. But somebody sat with Logan and said, look, Tate's getting a lot of smoke. You were cool with him. Your boyfriend, Mike, was cool with him. He's getting a lot of smoke right now. You're going to bitch out. And he sat there and said, yes, sir. Yes, I will. Because he has no character or no integrity. If it was all the other way around, let's imagine he was getting canceled. And I truly believed it was unfair. I'd sit there on my own platform and say, this is bullshit. Because I'm not bought, sold, and owned. He's an owned individual. So he's always going to say what he is told to say. He's always going to sit on podcasts, speaking to the youth, promoting Harry Styles wearing a dress, saying that it's great that little Naz twerks on the devil in real time for our children to digest, and then say, I'm dangerous to the youth, because that's what he's been told to say. Logan Paul has absolutely no capability for independent thought. And he has no character as a man. That's who Logan Paul is. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch the entire... So yeah, that's enough of that. But my thoughts on the situation but before i get into that i should frame it with this i wasn't always watching andrew tate i never really did i saw clips i, I, I saw some highlight reels i saw his name floating he was blowing up and then he got banned and i saw that too I saw Amazing Lucas do some videos on it. I saw other people do some videos on it. Well, I actually didn't watch them. Well, I watched Playback and a couple other guys. But the people detracting, I was kind of not interested because I kind of already understood. I had a bare bones understanding of what he was saying. And I was like, yeah, you're just crapping on this guy. For no reason, you can't understand the difference in opinion. You're calling him evil and the scum of the earth for no reason. But there was things that he said that I didn't agree with. But since I know these guys that were making all these videos were not giving constructive criticism, I was like, why waste my time? Now, Amazing Lucas, he did give cr uh, constructive criticism. But for the most part, he seems to always be against these guys. Because I'm quite sure that if we looked at the overall message that this dude was given, that Andrew Tate was given, I'm quite sure Lucas would have agreed. I'm quite sure he does agree. It's just that unless it's BGS, because I, I know he understands these ideas because he listens to BGS. I'm not sure if he subscribed, but he certainly does listen to it. He's pulled up his video on stream. He's not going to agree with you unless you're him. <laughs> That's what it seems like. If it ain't BGS, no, 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 no. There was also a time where he was breaking down some Camels, a Kevin Samuels wannabe. I, I did not realize it until I wasn't watching him until Lucas put him up. And he put the picture side by side. And I was like, wow, this is a Kevin Samuels wannabe. Just a young Kevin Samuels. But he put made a video um, dismantling him. And I'm like, I actually understand what this dude's trying to say. I understand what he's saying. I don't know. I might make a video about it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But back to the main topic at hand. 
this dude, Andrew Tate, I agree with what he's saying with him going off on Logan Paul and about how, yeah, you still stuck in the Matrix, you a puppet, and the this and the that. But I have a quite, it's quite funny because I know what he's saying between the lines, especially when I saw that video. Because I was watching a confirmation video. It's a nine-minute confirmation video. And there was one clip where he talked about, before he started his story, I he said, I will not kill myself. I will never kill myself. And then going on to say about how, yeah, I ran into an old friend as I was blowing up. And he said, let's go out for some cigars. And he talked about how he was connected to all these politicians and celebrities and blah, blah, blah. This is the abridged version. But basically, people... I, I didn't even come to this conclusion on my own. People, that sh the, the guy that made the video was like, this dude's talking about the secret society, the Illuminati. I'm like, he certainly is talking about that. So he understands that this thing exists. And he's talking, and when he's talking about the Matrix and how he's a puppet, that's literally what he, uh, when he's talking about Logan Paul and Jake Paul, these guys are puppets, how they don't have original thoughts and this and that. That's what he's referring to. I understand, I understand that because I can read between the lines. I I dabble, or I used to dabble in conspiracy theory uh, talking points and the this and the that. So I know what he's referring to. With that being said, he, in that interview, had his hand set up in a triangle. Consistent with people who are a part of that organization. So, if... If I'm what you would call it, if I'm going to judge, just judge that, you're organized opposition. That's what you are. And there's a lot of people like that. What was it? Daylight and other guys? Well, it's Kanye West is running around here talking about some Illuminati too. <laughs> it's like, bro, if you don't sit your, sit down somewhere, it's obvious that if there is an Illuminati, you are part of it. It's It's just ridiculous, man. <laughs> Talk about these rappers are selling their souls and they can't say God. You're organized opposition. Same thing with Andrew Tate. He's organized opposition. He's still got millions of views. Well, yeah, he's got millions of views on his own, uh, not own platform, but there's a platform that's willing to accept him called Rumble. So, and he's talking about he's got more views than ever before. And he's being made as a martyr. So the people who's like, I'm anti-system. Let's go to this heavily publicized person in the system that's supposedly being crucified by the system. I mean, we've seen this time and time again. There, And those guys were organized opposition. Now, some of them kept their reps for a long, for a long period of time. Some of them were kept their reps for about 20, 30, 40 years before people kept start, turned around and was like, wait a minute. You you was just a con. That it is that it is that way for a lot of people, but for a lot of uh, uh, historical figures. But we're seeing more and more and more that that's not a trend that can even work can work anymore. You talking about I'm against the Illuminati, I'm against the system, and the this and the that, and you're getting and you're rise to fame is because of the system, and you're running around here doing signals that are consistent with people who are in the system, you we should be wary of that, to say the least. Because, and question the things that they, the people are doing and, or, and telling you to do. Because you can find yourself in a, either running in circles or down a dark road. Now, we can say, people can argue what, well, it's now on purpose, or this is it's a pop culture thing. Everybody's doing it now. He's just one of every those people that are doing it. Fair enough, fair enough. I will I can concede to that. But to be like that's not necessarily a suspicion. That's not something that you should watch out for. For you not to understand that, you're pretty dumb. At the bare minimum, you should at least have thoughts of your own. You should be able to read on your own. You do not look for a messiah. A savior to save you. If you're not willing to sit down and read on your own and build forth your own path in life, you are doomed. So just remember that when you're following behind people on the internet. This is Witch Jay today, JJ, and I'm signing out. Please let your 
please tell me your thoughts in the, what you call it, comment section below.